another day, another tutorial. Let's get this started. We are in the RStudio environment and I am going to show you uh, the here package and how to organize some files and projects. I think it's about time we start cleaning up the way we set up our projects and doing it the correct way. So that being said, let's create a brand new project, which will start us fresh by doing, if I can find my mouse, file new project and Let's just jump in, new directory, new our project, and call it whatever you want. Remember the path that you put it in. So it'll be my here project. Sure, right? If you could browse and figure out where you're going to put it, that'd be nice. So mine's under documents and this PC. So just, just so I know where to find it. Create that project. It's an empty project. There'll be nothing there except for my actual um, project so documents so in the documents of course to get there I have to go through this PC local disk users mark G documents I hate not having full paths in this address bar it drives me insane but I can go to my my here project right here double click on it and you'll see I just have my here project that's it dot our project our project our project okay so that keep that in mind now, what's our working directory? We just created a project. So what automatically happens is the working directory changes to the project directory. So get WD in the console, command enter, or just control enter or plain old enter because we're in the console. You can see the entire path of where the project's located. That's fine and dandy. What we want to do is organize our files and make sure we do it the correct way to a point. So let's not put a lot of things inside of this um, particular path. Let's do a new folder and create, we'll create a couple folders here, data, create a new folder called scripts. This is where the scripts would lie. You might have 20, 30 scripts in there for all I know. A uh, new folder, um, uh, figures. So any pictures or things you wanna use to, for reports, for some reason you wanna save them, let's do that. Under data, let's go ahead and create another subfolder and we'll call that raw data. And that's probably good for now, but for these small projects, we'll keep it simple. So we're gonna do a new file. We're gonna create an R script. And now that we have the script open here, let's just do a control S and save it. And let's put it in the right place. We're gonna put it under scripts. So it's saved and we'll call this first, my first script. Cool, got that figured out. Now, Let's play with a couple examples and work with what we have here, what we got going on. Let's start with my favorite, my favorite data set, empty cars. I'm sorry, you're probably so sick of me saying that. <laughs> okay, there it is. Empty cars has been loaded into my environment. I have it, it's here, but it's not really stored anywhere except for in RAM right now. You know, it's in my RAM, but it's not saved onto the disk, the file system. We can do that, we can use write.csv. If I do write.csv, I have all these options. I hit tab, see x equals file equals, append, all that stuff. So let's just do, um, I believe we just do, I wanna bring in my data to write.csv and I wanna save it to a file named, let's call it blah.csv. That's all there is to it, control enter on that. Now, where did it save it to? Let's check it out. Let's go to our directories. We have it right here in our uh, base path, the blah.csv, you see it right there. It's saved. I don't have Excel or anything on this computer, so I can't really open it up without, I could open it up with Notepad if I want to, but you all know what a CSV file is, I would hope by now. So we have this, but it didn't go into the data, you know, it didn't do anything. Let's Let's delete that and try something new. Delete, gone. Let's do forward slash data, forward slash blah. Control enter on that. Error, ugh, no such file or directory. Oh, let's get rid of that forward slash. Control enter. There it is. I'm actually messing with you a little bit, so hold on one second. Data, there's our blah. Now it's in the raw folder, so delete that again. We screwed up data slash raw slash blah. Now we go back and it's in the right place. 
right there. Boom. I'm going to delete it anyways. Bye. Okay, we're back. Write.csv. Not bad, not bad. We're going to do this a different way, though, because we don't want to deal with, did I put a forward slash here? Do, do, I, do I need backslashes, forward slashes? I don't want to mess with all that, so let's do install packages, install. I'm going to type in here, and it should populate, and just hit tab and click on install. As always, mine's already installed, so I'm going to cancel that. Let's load that library called here at the top. We'll be doing that right here. Get it? Just kidding. Okay, here. And then as soon as you load it, it says starts at C drive, blah, 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 my here projects. All fine and dandy. What we're going to do with this package is that we're going to get rid of all this because we don't want to deal with forward slashes and backslashes. What file system? Are we on Linux? Are we on Mac? Are we on PC? Windows? Like, what are we on? So let's forget about all that. So let's just do write.csv, and this time we're just gonna say here. I'm gonna write here, and where am I gonna put it? In quotes, I'm gonna say, I wanna put this into data, the raw data, and I'm gonna call it my data.csv. Command or control enter. As you can tell, I cannot switch between a PC and a Mac very easily with my shortcuts. So let's see if it actually loaded, and it did. What did I do? Oh, I have to bring in the data. My data, comma. Now we're good to go. It's always the little things. There it is, my data.csv, and you can see it's under my here projects data raw. So that did the trick. Pretty cool. Now we don't overwrite empty cars. We don't want to do any of that. That's why we always store it as, as my data. We can break my data all day long, start a fresh new one, and create, and then reassign it to empty cars. But the idea is sometimes you might have your own data or data that you want to really have to be persistent. You would save it in that raw data and you can always refer back to that raw data to load it. In fact, we can do that instead of an empty cars. Now we have that file. We can actually say read.csv and right here you can just say here, open parenthesis. Now where is that data? We want data raw and it was called my data.csv. So before I hit enter, let's go ahead and uh, remove this. Gone. And I don't need to write this data anymore because it's written. And you can keep this if you want. I'll, I'll actually just put it in a, a comment. So we have nothing loaded into our environment. Let's do control enter. And lo and behold, it's 32 observations and 12 variables. It did the trick. And it did it without any forward slashes or backslashes. Congratulations. Now. Let's just quickly do one more thing to make this a little bit cooler for us. Let's create a ggplot. So let's add our library up the top. ggplot2. And let's go ahead and just create one real quick. We will call it ggplot aesthetic. Well, let's not forget our data. I want to bring in my data. Aesthetic x equals weight, y equals Rot, that one, yeah. And we want to create a scatter plot because that's the best way to look at data quickly and efficiently. So, geom point, and that's it. Oh, my data created the plot. You can see it right here. I just created that plot, and now let's save it. So we're going to save this by doing gg save. So if you do gg save, it'll save your last plot. That you created. Where do we want to save it though? I want to save it here. <laughs> Not here though, in figures. Figures. And what do I want to call it? I want to call it my my data plot.png. Right? Control enter on that. Uh, could not find a GGSAV. Let's do save instead and go from there. Boom. Save the image. And it 6.3 by 5.79 inches. Let's take a look at it. So if we go back to my here project and I go to figures and there it is a PNG. You can post this on Facebook. And when you do, don't forget to uh, link this video and get other people to watch my videos. Sorry, this was a little long winded, but I think it's important that you learn how to save and create these directories and keep that structure going so that it's nice and organized. So you, you've learned how to use the here package a little bit and how to save a ggplot 
as a PNG file. You can also save it as other other formats, and there's a few of them. I don't know them all. I don't have them all memorized, but PDF works. Let's take a quick look at that under figures. So whatever you want to do with it, I actually don't think I have Adobe PDF loaded. We'll see. It'll probably open up in Chrome. It's a brand. It's not a brand new PC. It's a temporary workaround for my setup. There we go. It's a PDF file. So take a look, play around with it, save your stuff, and then now that you saved it, post it on Twitter. Facebook, and don't forget to tag me in there. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.